I am so sick and tired of you miserable ass transphobes. Y'all can't even stick to the unscientific, illogical shit y'all be saying to be transphobic in the first fucking place. First, y'all was bitching about the fact that people were not allowed to pick their own gender. It's assigned their birth gender only. And then be like, oh, it's based on your genitals. And this person literally is assigned at birth female. Now it's not about genitals or assigned at birth gender. Now it's about, oh, what's the chromosomes? Oh, what are your hormones? When we were telling y'all that all of that plays a role in gender and sex, y'all was like, no, it's the doctor what the, like so you're just gonna keep moving the goalposts until everybody is for some reason a mediocre milk colored woman because it's not gonna happen y'all just mad that Iman Khalif knocked the tokens out that bitch Angela head before she even got a chance and that's not our fault y'all love to throw trans misogyny around anytime a black or POC woman is better than you especially black y'all are mad Y'all get mad when a black woman or a POC woman looks better than you, they're a man. When they are better than you at sports, they're a man. When they're stronger than you, they're a man. Maybe you just don't fucking fit the bill, bitch. Maybe you weak. Did you think of that? Did that ever cross your mind? We just going to continue to be transphobic because, uh, because the whites can't, can't be the best men and women that they can be? Is that our fault that they don't fit the colonial standards of what a man and a woman is? And then you got the worst team up in history with none of the people that fit the bill for their fucking, their fucking gender norms. Elon Musk, that's definitely not no man. That's not no man. And nobody gonna tell me nothing different. That's not a man. And Logan Paul, you literally play dress up and play wrestling. The, the bitch would beat your ass. You, would, you couldn't even see her. And J.K. Rowling, get your washed up fucking Schmeagol looking ass out of here. You literally look like Dubby, bitch. Shut the hell up. Fucking trying to question somebody's womanhood. Are you a woman? And the thing that bothers me the most is regardless if you, you know, are outwardly transphobic like those people are not, fucking trans people and non-binary people have been telling y'all, we've been telling y'all that, listen, they're going to keep moving the goalposts. There's never going to be anyone that is going to fit the ideals that they're talking about for women or men. They're going to keep it. They're going to keep it vague so they could honestly be transphobic whenever they want to. And they usually do it to POC and black people, particularly POC and black women. We've said this and no one has taken that shit seriously. Now we constantly see them calling out cis women and people are like, this is the dangers of transphobia. No, the dangers of transphobia was when black trans people were being unalived consistently by transphobes when trans people have been unalived and been having to take their own lives because of the way that y'all treat trans people in our society the way that you're allowing them to be railroaded in our political in political campaigns in in the political campaigns of the united states really the whole of you guys it all i can't think of one one candidate or one party that's not transphobic Y'all did that. And then now they're using those same tropes that you let you, they're using the same violence that you let them continue to have to now persecute you.